Salt, what? The best mulch you've never heard of. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's the Thoughtful Gardener and I want to say first of all a huge shout out to my friend Susan Betts sent me this absolutely gorgeous apron her friend Joyce hand sews for her friends and I was lucky enough to be gifted this and I just want to say thank you so much Susan this is just absolutely gorgeous it's too pretty to wear right uh, no I'm really enjoying it it's really practical it has a very nice pocket a long long uh, ribbon so I can tie it so I'm really really loving it thank you so much Joyce and Susan it's just beautiful I wanted to show you you uh, the garden I have switched the garden over to what's called salt hay let me talk to you about why I think this is the best mulch I've ever seen in the vegetable garden and I think you're gonna want it for your garden too so let's take a look so here we are in the early spring vegetable garden I have lots of wonderful things that we started from seed that have done so well this year it's been quite a cool uh, overcast spring and actually a lot of these vegetables prefer that weather uh, you can see here that we have beautiful broccoli that is growing it looks amazing and the little broccoli head is right there and it's so cute uh, also this beautiful fleshy trout lettuce has been really delicious I've been eating off that for salads uh, we also have some nasturtium did you know that nasturtiums can make your vegetables sweeter um, and also it's going to produce some really Really tasty and beautiful flowers that we can eat. Uh, we also have some sage that's overwintered here and uh, you see my cucumbers that I started from seed are starting to climb. But what I have surrounded these vegetables with is a really cool product that I recently learned about called Salté. You can see it's really thin and wiry and uh, has a little bit of pine straw uh, from uh, the old way that I had this mulched but I'm really, really loving the salt hay and I'm, I'm noticing that the vegetables love it too. Salt hay is a renewable resource. It is harvested from our marshes and uh, it has always been loved uh, by farmers because it's great for livestock because it contains so many minerals and it doesn't bed down like a normal straw. It also lasts a season, which is why it is so prized by gardeners. You can see my giant uh, <laughs> catnip there cats certainly appreciate that well some golden rods that planted themselves um, and uh, my sweet bees here but everything is just really loving it and what I'm loving is that I'm not having to babysit this garden in terms of weeding uh, the weeds are really not an issue for me um, some of the seedlings are popping up my balsam there along with a Maryland aster and some uh, hello yellow hello yellow is a really cool uh, native that is blooms yellow and it is for our butterflies it is a host for our monarch butterflies it is like a milkweed uh, but it's called butterfly weed uh, a little bit smaller in stature which i like uh, and uh, i find that the bees really like it too you can see here the cat mint it's loved by my cats but it's also loved by bees and there was a honeybee on here earlier i don't know if you can see him but he's in there somewhere there he is uh, but definitely uh, cascades over this wall as well as some chives more uh, different types of kohlrabis there that are getting ready to bulb up and then again uh, some beautiful Kent Beauty oregano my favorite oregano it's a very very uh, pretty oregano looks great in pods and then I also have uh, some slow bolt uh, cilantro there my asparagus some amaranth and up front here um, is some alyssum sweet alyssum that's not currently blooming but will bloom again so what i can say so far about the salt hay is i love the texture uh, the plants are loving it uh, it's definitely enough to keep all the roots really cool and moist but it is not going to uh, seed because it's a salt water plant it needs salt water to grow so it's not one that will cause weeds in your garden uh, but it's also feeding which I love as you know I'm an organic gardener so anything that will feed my plants naturally I think is a win in my book so I'm going to take you down to the vegetable garden and we'll see how we're using it there 
So here are my vegetables, again using the trellis and fence system this year with some shake off over the top. Uh, the vegetables have become very quickly established, but I always like to give them a little bit of shade because we quickly uh, climbed into the 90s here recently. Fortunately, it's dropped back down, which is ideal for getting plants started. Uh, but well, again, we've got everything surrounded by the salt hay. It's doing really great. And uh, actually, uh, during that 90 degree weather, I just pulled the salt hay up on top of all the plants. And that way they were even more protected. A really cool tip you can do if you've got a seedling is to use this old glass that your grandmother probably had on a fan, uh, but this just protects your new seedlings from little critters. In my case, I'm having a real trouble this year with pill bugs. You know those little roly-poly bugs? They're eating all my seedlings. It's super annoying, but I have found that uh, a combination of the diatomaceous earth as well as these little glass cloches are not only protecting the seedling uh, from the bad guys, but uh, it's just a way to get the seedling going really goodly. good <laughs> because it's been uh, a little chilly. Uh, we've had some 50 degree temperatures and vegetables like that cucumber don't really love that cold, cold temperatures and neither do tomatoes. So what this salt hay is also doing is acting as a blanket protection. So um, I'm really, really loving this very, very much. You can see my balsam has seeded the pathway here. I've got to put down some more mulch there, but um, I'm sharing balsam, balsam for everybody. If you come by, I'll give you some balsam. Uh, but uh, I am super excited this year about uh, this new product. I have a lot more vegetables to put in. You can see I've even got a little tomato. How exciting is that? And then my other tip, if you are starting your vegetable garden, is right here. These are olas. Olas uh, put the water right where the tomato needs it. You see, these little boogers have eaten my holes in these tomatoes. So they're driving me nuts this year. Uh, anyway, but um, I uh, love uh, new products. And this one is a keeper. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how it was delivered to me which was super convenient and very easy and it was quite lightweight which was helpful for me i am uh only five foot two and uh so i'm uh, so much i can do by myself without help and getting the salt hay in the garden was not a problem at all so let's take a look at that box and here we go you can see it's a 24 by 24 box it was 50 pounds of salt hay and you can see i've got plenty more to do i'm going to be adding a third garden this year um, so I'm super excited with this product. Very lightweight, very wiry, very pretty. Uh, it should last the entire season and it's feeding my plants at the same time. I think it's a huge, huge win. So if you're local, you can pick this up at Maxwell's hardware store uh, in Downingtown or you can be sent to your door via UPS. And I highly recommend this as a protection for your vegetable garden. Also a great way to deal with the high inflation costs related to fertilizer this year. Feed and protect your plants at the same time. It is a win for me. Try out this product and give you my feedback on it. I never recommend anything I don't use in my own garden. I am not that gardener. I'm not that blogger. Uh, I do things that I believe in and this product is a winner. So thanks again for the opportunity to give it a shot and I hope that you will uh, visit Maxwell's Hardware or the links below and get that uh, into your garden as soon as possible. Garden thoughtfully and take care.